everyone, and welcome to our 11th episode of You Eat or You Eat. I am so happy, as usual, that you're here watching. Thank you for joining us today. Today we're going to be making a really awesome uh, Italian classic dish that will be found in every single restaurant, probably across the country, and just like the chicken franchise, today we'll be making uh, chicken marsala. What I've been trying to do is create some really easy restaurant quality recipes that you can cook at home. Now I spent about $20 on all these ingredients, about $22 to be exact. Now with that said, I'll probably be able to feed about four people minimum, maybe six, depending on their appetite. Uh, it's almost two pounds of, of chicken here. And with the mushrooms and the sauce, and then you serve it with some rice or, um, you know, or, or vegetables, which we're not doing today. But again, you probably spend 15 to 20 dollars in a restaurant. Believe me when I tell you that this recipe is going to be better than most chicken marsalas that you're going to receive in a restaurant for 20 dollars and more. Some restaurants will charge you like 40 dollars for the same recipe and it's not even going to be um, all natural chicken that I bought today. And the all natural chicken cost me about 9 dollars for almost 2 pounds of chicken. So you can see the savings. Now, you know, cooking at home is awesome, okay? But the worst part about cooking at home is the cleanup, right? No one wants to clean up after dinner. But if you keep everything to a minimum and you don't have a ton of plates or you can just pop a lot of stuff in the dishwasher, and I'm gonna cook this entire dish in one pan. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about eight bowls that I gotta clean up. That's about it, okay? And then uh, it's, it's not a ton of cleanup. Now, I'm not gonna say don't go out to a restaurant. Going to a restaurant's a great experience but also is cooking at home. It's a great skill to have. Growing up in my house, I, I remember countless times of helping my mother. You know, I felt like she just used, she needed the help, but I was learning a skill and I, and I enjoyed it. And I enjoyed eating the food that I made. And over the years, I just got better and better. You know, cooking to me, and it may be difficult to you, but I'm gonna to try to show you how to cook where it's really easy. I don't usually even make recipes, um, you know, I mean, you know, I have the ingredients and I don't usually spec anything out and I'm doing that now um, so, so you can make the recipe. But to me, cooking is like, um, cooking is like making a drink. Cooking is like being a bartender, right? You just got to find the right ingredients that you think it's going to go well together. Now, there's a lot of traditional recipes out there and over the years I said, hmm, that might taste good together and, and it has, but sometimes it doesn't and sometimes you have to experiment. So right now we're just going to go with the, you know, the easy recipes and we'll do some experiments in the future. Definitely, I like to experiment. I also like to have your feedback, okay? If you can give me feedback, that would make me produce, um, you know, episodes that you want to watch. Real quick, my nephew did this doodle of me, Espo's Doodles on Instagram, or just Google Espo's Doodles. Tell him Uncle Dave sent you and get 10% off. So we're gonna get started on that chicken marsala with the baby portobello mushrooms. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, we have two pounds of chicken breast, one cup of all-purpose flour, 16 ounces of chicken stock, salt and pepper to taste, fresh thyme, one pound of baby portobello mushrooms, extra virgin olive oil, three ounces of stick butter, four ounces of marsala wine, three cloves of garlic. Oops, and I forgot to uh, shoot the parsley. Okay, we're gonna coat the pan. Now we don't want too much oil and we wanna make sure we have enough that the chicken trimming stick to the pan so we get all that flavor when we deglaze it later. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to smash the garlic and flavor up the oil. And then we're gonna discard or remove it. We can use it for something else if you wanna make garlic bread. And the reason why I smash it and not put whole is because all the aroma that's inside that garlic, you can see it. You just want to make sure that you get that flavor from the garlic. The pan's getting a little hot, so I'm going to pull it off the flame for a second. The crackling that you're hearing is from the moisture from smashing the garlic. You're really adding a lot of flavor to the oil. This garlic will not go to waste. I will use it for garlic bread or put it in my meatballs or something. Just like the chicken franchise recipe, I pounded the chicken and dredged it in flour. I will place the chicken in the pan. There's a link to the chicken franchise recipe in the description below. So we're gonna cook the chicken until it starts to brown and then flip them over. Around two minutes on a medium flame. 
You want to keep a close eye on the oil. The chicken will absorb a lot of it and you may have to add more oil to the pan while frying. If you have to do this, just add a little at a time so the oil will heat up quickly. I accidentally dripped some flour into the pan and started to brown quicker than I wanted it to. You want it to brown. You don't want it to burn. It's getting to that point, so I take this piece out too. Prepare the mushrooms. And the wine. Now you're going to get a flame, pull it off the flame. So now you can add the fresh thyme and we'll season with some salt and pepper. I'm going to add about 75% of the chicken stock and save a little. I'm going to add 2 ounces of flour to 4 ounces of chicken stock. You can mix that well and we'll put it on the side for a moment. Let's add the 3 cubes of butter to the pan. So we added the flour to the chicken stock. Uh, there's so many different ways you can thicken a sauce. To me this would be the easiest way. You just have to cook the flour out for about 10 minutes on a low simmer and then you're done. The Marcella sauce will reduce on its own and you don't want it too thick. You could always thin it out later if needed. The only thing you have to do now is constantly stir to make sure the sauce doesn't break on you or get too thick and the chicken will be fully cooked by that time. You want to check the consistency. It should be like a thin gravy. And if it's too thick, uh, we do have 16 ounces of chicken stock left over that you can thin it out with. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. Time to eat. I have to say that I kind of feel bad for all of you watching that you can't smell how delicious this is. So we'll just ladle the little sauce and I'm a big fan of the mushrooms so I'll throw some extra mushrooms on there and you're done. Top it with some parsley. You did great. Nice job. Chicken Marsala with baby portobello mushrooms. Do you eat? You want to eat? Make this recipe. It's delicious. Do you live in the northern New Jersey area looking to do some renovations on your home? Maybe a kitchen remodel or your bathroom? Call our friend Steve over at Carpentry Innovations. He will take great care of you. Thank you for everyone for tuning in and um, viewing up. View, thank you everyone for tuning in and viewing all the episodes. Shows that my hard work is. I appreciate that, and um, I'd like to continue to um, offer some really easy Italian and seafood. I would like. I would like to continue to. Uh, Did you subscribe yet? What are you waiting for? Click on the bell too. I'll come to your house and cook for you, your family, or friends, even your dog. Go to yaeat.tv slash contact and I'll get back to you.